Life is about transactions. We give of our resources, time, energy, money, so that we can get something. Most of us would like a return. Are you transacting your health to generate or to waste wealth? Let me tell you about a high-performing individual who is one of my, my closest friends. We'll call him Malcolm. Malcolm was promoted to a global leadership position, so started looking after a team in the Middle East, Europe, and reported into Chicago. He actually, in the first year, got to gold elite status with Emirates, gold status on Etihad and platinum on SAA. He did a million air miles in 12 months. To cope with the, the traveling, the jet lag, he would do a lot of running in the cities that he got to. So much so, he was really fit. He managed to do four marathons that year as ultra marathons. He had a niggle in his left hip, but he managed to run through that discomfort. Good thing he was exercising as much as he was because he was craving his comfort food, hamburgers, and giving in to that. And some of his relationships started to take some strain. What happened 18 months later is that Malcolm had to take several months off. And at the age of 42, he had a left hip replacement and will never run an ultramarathon again. He started to put on weight and got divorced that same year. So how can we avoid giving up our health for wealth? Well, there, there's six key transactions that we should have in place. The first is to understand how to create harmony between our head and our hormones. Why? Because if we take a look at the example of Malcolm, he was driven by his chemistry. So he's high adrenaline because of all the traveling and the stress and the high cortisol that came along with that made him feel bulletproof, which short term is helpful, but long term can be disastrous. His low serotonin levels was driving that craving for carbohydrates and comfort food, and his low dopamine levels and needing to raise that to feel motivated was probably what was fueling his caffeine and other addictions. So when we consider how important the brain and our head is, it's important to consider what medical experts call as the second brain, our digestive tract. We don't often give it second thought. But if we know that what we feed into our systems becomes the raw materials that provide molecules. Those molecules go from our second brain to our big brain, and they create hormones. Hormones are what drive our emotions, and emotions are what drive our behavior. And our behavior, ultimately over time, is what drives our performance, either for the better or the worse. So are you being driven by stress, by stimulants, by sugar, by sex? There are simple key techniques that we can implement on a daily basis that can help us to manage and manipulate our chemistry for the better so that we can maintain and manage our performance. There are five other transactions that can help us manage and leverage our health for wealth. One of them is managing energy and understanding that energy in terms of high performance and productivity is not linear but needs to oscillate. We also need to activate. In fact, I'm going to ask you for the last minute and a half to activate by standing. Sitting is the new smoking. We've been sitting for an hour. Can I ask you to please stand? Stand uh, in, in a power pose if you'd like to, so shoulders back, hands on your hips if you want to. Activations can boost productivity. Leading organizations understand this and are bringing this into the workplace. Then we need to also lead. Lead by ourselves first. Each of us in this room needs to own the title CEO, Chief Energy Officer, because we know that our energy is contagious and that's how we shift culture in our organizations. Health for wealth is thought through, it's not haphazard. And lastly, it also includes humor and happiness, because we know that happiness is the precursor to success. So these six transactions and strategies can help us to leverage health for wealth. And ladies and gentlemen, when I look across the room and when I consider the conversations I've had over the last two days here at Meetings Africa, there's no doubt that we need to be working together. Contact USB, I am Celine Erasmus, and I would love to help share the frameworks that we use to manage and leverage health for wealth. Thank you.